Nothing like some leftovers. What's up and welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, do not forget to smash that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions at the end if you have any, as well as hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of upcoming content that I do not want you guys to miss out on. Don't forget also to check out that join button. We would love to have each and every one of you become a part of the Shea Gang and in that join button, you will find all of our membership perks. So if you're seeing people that are leaving comments with those speed limit signs, that is because they are a Shade Gang member. And I would love for you guys to check out all of those different perks that we have offered in each of those levels. As well as do not forget to check out the merch. I do apologize. It looks like the hoodies are currently sold out. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing one of the crewnecks. So there are some other items available. As soon as the hoodies have been restocked, I will let you guys know. So if you were wondering what I was talking about with leftovers, well, you guessed it. These are none other than the Tur Duncans, AKA the Mallards. And I have to give a special thank you. As you guys know, I do not pay retail for my shoes. I only pay retail. Uh, a special Shea Gang fan was able to send these over to me. So I just wanna give a huge thank you to Cesar. You are amazing. Thank you so much for sending these over so that I can review them. Uh, and this video is gonna be amazing and it's all thanks to you. So let's get into this oven. You guys are probably wondering too, this is a different location. I'm in a kitchen. So as I'm gonna be reviewing this, I'm also gonna be making a special dish. I'm gonna make some strawberry oat bars today since we are talking about a shoe that is based off of food so i thought what better than to bring you to the shade kitchen welcome chef marissa in the house right now so let's open up this box this of course is a special edition one that is from concepts directly if you were able to cop this off of sneakers, unfortunately, you probably were wondering why didn't it come in this amazingly cool box that looks like an oven. That's because this was the limited edition box. So let's open it up. This is probably one of the coolest boxes I think I've ever seen. I mean, it opens up so amazingly. It's got like the fire and the smoke going on here. Look at this Nerf ball as well. We've got some mashed potatoes, some corn with butter. Looks like, I think that's stuffing, I'm not quite sure. Or actually, I think, I think that might be what I'm making. <laughs> it kind of looks like a strawberry pie of some kind. All right, so let's put that off to the side here. Actually, let's put it right there. And then look at how great paper is here. Turkey concepts on it. They're so creative. It's insane how creative this collab is. So this special edition also comes with a pair of socks. Some Nike SB Everyday Max Lightweight Crew Socks. And got some talons there. The shoe is called the mallard in a sense because it's based off of the mallard duck so i'm assuming when we pull this box out and we take a look at the actual shoes we are going to see that these probably have some similar coloring schemes to the mallard duck you can see the c for the concepts design in there all right you know this actually looks exactly like the oven that i'm going to make my dish in so i'm probably going to hold this up at one point so you guys can see like how spot on they were with the design of the oven. It looks 
exactly like it. It's pretty insane, especially like the one that I have right here. All right, so let's put this big guy off to the side and get in to the main event, the main meal, the turkey. All right, let's pull this out here. All right, so this is an incredible shoe. My goodness. Wow, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna wash my hands and we're gonna go through this as I'm cooking. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Hey guys, what's up? Um, yeah, this has been quite the production. It's really hard actually when there's a lot of echo in a space that you're shooting in. So had to work with a specific mic when I shot this just because the tall ceilings in here really just make my voice go, I swear, like a hundred feet. Uh, today is a beautiful day, so got some nice lighting going on here on set, which is nice. I swear lighting makes all the difference. Unfortunately, I am constantly racing the light every day because our days are so short and I feel like I just can't film as much as I'm used to filming. One of the things is, is that this is one, actually two, I've shot two now, two out of 12 shoes I need to shoot for the week. This is gonna be a pretty heavy hitter week. Um, it's gonna be pretty intense to see how many shoes I can actually get done. And I've also got some other posts they need to do for Instagram, so I'm working on that as well. It's gonna be a very, uh, oh, look at that. Just had two shoes get delivered right now. So I'm gonna go pick those up downstairs and maybe you guys can take a guess in the comments below as to which two shoes just arrived. I'm like stunned at how this shoe looks right now. It looks so incredible. My goodness, it was like no other shoe I've ever seen. Uh, all right, so let's get into this recipe while we're talking about the shoe. First up, we are gonna start with the oats. I'll have the amount that I'm using here. So just put that in a nice mixing bowl there. Then I'm gonna add in some of this brown sugar to the mixture. Let's just use a spoon to get all that out. Now we've got the oats and the brown sugar in there. Now I'm just gonna add some of the flour mixture. Now we've got the flour on top of the oats and the brown sugar. Next up, we are gonna add some of this melted butter here. Now I'm just going to take my spatula. I'm going to mix actually a little bit of salt in here as well, and we're going to just mix this up. Grab a pinch of that. batter up, nice and creamy. So let me know in the comments, you guys, what was one of your favorite Thanksgiving desserts? Since we've got our main dish here, the Mallard SB Dunk, had to uh, give you guys some sweet treats to, to have with it. I'm just gonna mix this up till there's no more clumps left in here. You're wondering what that clicking sound is. That's the oven preheating. I'm gonna save half of a cup to start, and that's actually gonna be the top layer of the crust here. Let's just put that in a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna put that aside, but that's gonna be our top layer. And now with this portion, I'm actually 
And I just kind of lay it in here on top of this parchment paper. You can also double this recipe, but you know, I'm not planning to be eating a huge amount of this. Unless this is plenty. And then with your hands, you just kind of press it down like so. And that's just gonna start to lay flat. That's this nice layer. Slash also stick to my fingertips. <laughs> All right, so this is looking lovely. Now that we have this all laid out, you guys can see here that I have my base layer set. Voila. So I'm just gonna start with half of the strawberries here. And we're just gonna dump that on top of the granola. strawberries. I am going to now pour over a little bit of just granulated sugar on top of these. There's already a lot of sweetness. These uh, strawberries are extremely sweet already, so definitely going to get a lot of flavor in from there. Then I'm going to mix in some cornstarch, just lightly put that over. And now I'm going to add the top of the crust, which is just, this one's gonna kind of just spill through. You're gonna obviously have some strawberries sticking out of the top here, but we're just going to spread this out. Go through here. We're gonna put some more strawberries in there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the sugar and cornstarch. So we've got our mixture going on here of that granola, oat going through here. All right. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did before, which is add a little bit of the sugar to it. Nice and light and a little bit more of the cornstarch. All right, this is ready to plop into the oven. And after it's done, we're gonna make a nice glaze for it. So I've preheated the oven to 375. So we're just going to put this in. The middle rack here. And let that cook while we do an overview of the shoe. All right, so back to the dunk. Oh, I just think of like hunting when I look at this shoe already. I don't know, it just definitely gives me like a duck hunting feel. For those of you who don't know what a turducken is, it's actually a pretty popular dish that a lot of people eat during the holiday season. So it's actually a duck inside of a chicken, which is also inside of a turkey. And I love that they played with that name and called it the Turduncan instead of the Turduncan. I've actually never had the dish before. It sounds quite interesting. I'm sure it's very flavorful. Um, that dish is actually pretty famous by someone you may know. His name is John Madden, who's a former ESPN host, also a coach. Uh, he is, for some reason, very, uh, very much paired with the turducken. It's a, it's a chicken, a duck, a turkey, and two kinds of dressing. People don't know, you have to slice it down the middle. See, and then you slice it across this way. Because what it is, it's a, it's a deboned chicken stuffed in a deboned duck stuffed in a deboned turkey with dressing between the chicken and the duck and the duck and the turkey. So as you cut down that way, you go turkey, dressing, duck, dressing, chicken. So uh, definitely a famous person that has kind of coined that dish. 
Uh, as far as the coloring scheme goes, this is definitely looking like that patterned duck. I mean, there is definitely hair on the sides here. This looks like the side of a duck. Like, look at how it's curled up. It's really soft. We've got this beautiful metallic swoosh in this bluish purple kind of colorway. Then we've got this nice detail on the heel and this kind of teddy fur on the back. I mean, there are so many different textures of fur on the shoe, it's pretty crazy. Then we've got this beautiful just black nubuck suede on the top of that heel. And as we transition to the back of the heel, the color starts to transition and change into a more green swoosh that's also got that kind of reflective metallic coloring scheme going on. And again, we have this really cool duck uh, fur on the side. I mean, it actually looks like it's wet. It has this like wet effect that it's giving. As we go to the front, we again have this beautiful soft texture. It feels like hair again in a lighter brown colorway versus that dark chocolate colorway we have in the back of the heel. And for the tongue, we've got this kind of similar green. It honestly, when it hits the light, it has a bit of a red tone to it. Then we have the Nike SB Dunk High Pro logo on that beautiful yellow leather with the Nike on top and the swoosh. This also comes in another color option of yellow laces. All right, so I made a little flip. This was hidden in the tissue paper. I almost missed it, but in addition to the golden yellow laces and beige laces, there's also a Bordeaux colored lace. So pretty awesome that they give you three different choices of what color lace you wanna lace these shoes with. When we get down into this midsole, it's this beautiful kind of peach sherbet coloring scheme. I really love how they pair these two colors with the outsole being like this kind of, you know, beautiful peachy pink color scheme. And this is more of a lighter peach, uh, but it really just plays off of the colors that they have paired well with the browns and the chocolates in this shoe. Again, it's got another lighter peach in the middle here with the Nike SB. And let's go on the inside. So this is actually the, the interior is all leather. So this is a quality shoe. You can tell it's tumbled leather. It's got trees and forests and there's actually ducks on the insole. Uh, this is definitely a leather insole. So this is something I'm actually not used to seeing on dunks is how much leather they've used on this silhouette, but um, yeah, this is definitely a very hunter foresty looking shoe. Um, and the, the laces that they came with are a nice kind of beige colorway, which matches perfectly with that toe box there. And the box is just our normal Nike SB box that we're used to seeing. So I do love that we were able to get the special edition to show you guys just because it's so unique and it's absolutely so different in comparison to what I'm used to seeing. All right, so now we're gonna talk about sizing. So this is a 7.5 and as you guys know, I am typically a 7.5 in all of my shoes. Uh, I would say that these are definitely true to size. Uh, for those of you who have wider feet, um, this is definitely kind of a little bit of a mirror fit. Uh, other than that, I would say stay true to your size. So 7.5 is equivalent to a woman's nine. Sometimes I do go down in specific dunks, but this one for some reason fit me perfectly. Uh, sometimes, you know, it's like, I don't know what it is with the make or the specific coloring scheme that they've done, but sometimes they're more fitted than others. And it just is very variant upon which silhouette is dropping. All right, so now let's jump into styling and talk about how I was able to style these shoes. This is a very homey shoe. I feel like it's my home cooking channel, as you guys can see here. So I just basically paired this shoe with all sweats, sweat, sweats galore. So the first pair of sweats that I paired this with are my essential brown sweats. Of course, there's lots of browns in this coloring scheme and so I thought it would be perfect to go with these shoes. I paired that for the top with my Supreme Aerial crew neck top and that has a lot of creams in it. There's also some creams in the heel of this shoe at the top and on 
the inside of it as well. So I thought that was a great pairing. Next up, I paired it with my kind of light greenish tone essentials sweatpants. And that green just for some reason pops with the green hues, I feel like, in this shoe as well. And last but not least, I paired this with just some simple gray sweats. I wanted to just give you a different color that I didn't see really transparent in this shoe in general. But gray, of course, just basically goes with everything. So let me know how you guys would wear the shoe. Is this a house shoe for you? Or is this like a going out and I'm literally going to be strutting down the streets and having everybody look at me? Or is this something that you just want to chill in at home? All right, you guys, so now we are gonna head into the resell on the shoes, talk about how they're doing, and that will be it for this review. Oh yes, and then we're gonna end also with some dessert as soon as it's ready, so we'll let you know how that tastes. Now I'm gonna make the glaze for the dessert, so I've already mixed together a little bit of almond milk, and I've put in some vanilla extract into that. So next up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh lemon juice here. So about a tablespoon of that is gonna go into this glaze mixture. All right, so next up, I'm going to add just some powdered sugar. And this is going to really thicken the mixture. All right, so this is about half a cup of that powdered sugar that I'm adding in here. I'm just gonna take a whisk and we're just gonna whisk this together. It's got this nice kind of creaminess to it that it's starting to form. And this is just gonna add a little extra sweetness to the dessert and you know give it a little something something. Not that it isn't already good. I will say if you're you're not a big sweet person, I would probably skip the glaze but I do think that the glaze just gives it a little zest with that lemon in it. So definitely one of my favorite additions to this dish. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit a little bit until we're able to pull the dish out of the oven. And then we're just gonna lightly glaze it with this sweetness. You guys haven't already. Go get yourselves a shade mug. I need to pep up and wake up still. All right, so for the resell, let's talk about how much this special edition box retailed for, $250. Uh, so currently, depending obviously on what sizes you're going for, it's between four to $500 on average, but there are some sizes that are going for a whopping seven to $800. Pretty crazy. Uh, for the regular shoe, that retailed for $120, so a lot less than what the special edition box retailed for. But of course, I mean, with all the stuff that you're getting here, I'm Nerf ball, socks, cool box. I don't know. Seems, seems like you got a lot added to it. Uh, but the regular shoe is going currently for around $250 to $325, depending on what size you are. But uh, I would say if you don't care about, about all the special added perks of the special box, then why not just pay 250, which is what you would have paid for all of this if you really just want the shoe. It's a good time to get that, I guess, since it's around 250, of course, depending on what your size is. Some of those are ranging in the 300 price point mark. All right, so now we are gonna go through, take a look at this dessert and tell you how it tastes. So I have finally completed my strawberry oatmeal bars. I've already had a couple, they're so delicious. Especially if you're somebody who isn't into extremely sweet desserts, this is an amazing option. It kind of gives you the feeling like you're being healthy because of strawberries, but has that just hint of sweetness to it. And the oatmeal just brings it all together. Kind of feel like it looks like dessert on that TV dinner, but you know, maybe it's not. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this special unboxing that we did as part of a kind of shade cooking show, I guess. Uh, I really had a good time just baking with you guys as well as unboxing this incredibly unique shoe. 
again, I just want to send out a special thank you to Cesar. You are an amazing fan and I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you so much for sending me over these shoes to unbox. Um, as always, if you're new to my channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions that you guys may have down below. And as always, do not forget to hit that notification bell as we do have a ton of heat coming out that I do not want you guys to miss. And as always, we have that new join button. I want you guys to check it out. We have so many amazing perks that we have that we're making available to all of our Shade Gang members. So be sure to check out those different tiers so that you can be a part of the Shade Gang community. And as always as well, we have our new merch down below. So be sure to check that out. Fortunately, we are sold out of hoodies currently. So I will let you know and keep you posted as to when those are restocked. This is the crew neck, which is still available. Super soft, super cozy. You can see that beautiful fuzzy fleece underneath. Uh, other than that, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. This is Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video. Santa, I've been good this year. Make your list and check it twice. I'll leave you a note right here.